In 1937, San Francisco-born Chinese woman, 22-year-old Esther Ng, directed her first feature film in Hong Kong, National Heroine. 咁咁下咧，算係一個拍呢種愛國啊、國防電影嘅先驅人物。咁呢套戲咧，都係講女性都要參軍，同男性一齊去啊保衛國家、抗敵嘅。Although an American citizen, Esther made all of her ten known features in Chinese. Becoming recognized as the first directress of Southern China. I was looking at film reviews from 1941. One caught my eye, which was a review of a film called Golden Gate Girl. And I looked at the credits, and it said directed by Esther Eng. And immediately, I realized that I had stumbled across something very unusual, because it was a, a Chinese language film made in San Francisco,、uh, directed by a Chinese woman. See, Li Huaiquan is Guan Yingling. They are making a film. So Bruce Lee is just born. 所以揾佢做誒喺金門女度誒扮女仔。我喺我一千九三九年住到而家，我住緊幾十年啦，大先生。一九四八年，小飛飛係呢啲下一套。哦，拍電影係咪啊？係係，響五金下拍嘅，五金下做導演。Mad Fire, Mad Love opened in San Francisco in 1949. This was Astor's last independent production. The assumption has been, in terms of women directors in the history of cinema, that there was Alice Guy Bache, there's Lois Weber, there was Dorothy Arzner, there was Ida Lupino. They're all white. They're all Western. It's too easy to forget that Hollywood is not all there is. I love the fact that、uh, histories of women filmmakers now are going to include Dorothy Arzner and and Esther Eng、um, as, you know, two of the real exceptions. Who proved that it was entirely possible to build a, a successful film career without necessarily being a part of mainstream identity? In 1961, 42-year-old Xu Yinfei and 47-year-old Esther. Collaborated on what proved to be the last film for both, Murder in New York Chinatown. 誒，香港就係胡鵬導演，紐約就係夏哥導演嘅。In 1946, when asked by journalist Betty Cornelius if she had been nervous about beginning a career in a medium of which she knew virtually nothing, Esther answered, "It just came to me. I don't know why." I just went ahead, and I wasn't afraid of anything. I am the only one in our family interested in pictures. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs>